Alright, so I've received another commission, and this time it's considerably harder than the uh, kitchen knives and herb chopper that I made with the last commission. It's also the reason why I wasn't working on a gala glass here uh, in the video where I tried out the our new anvil for, for the first time. So the father-in-law, oh, sorry, camera, the father-in-law of one of the people who ordered the kitchen knives back at Christmas uh, asked the customer that I made the knives for about if I could make a specific knife and so you know through the chain of communication all that I've been notified of this request and once more it's a, a bit of kitchenware this time around though it's a cleaver but not just any cleaver and not something I can sneeze out with stock removal to make really cheap he's requested a uh, a Damascus mini cleaver um, it's a specific design that he was asking for I'll flash it on screen right here The one problem is though, this is this one that I flash on screen is purchasable on the internet, meaning that it's someone else's you know, probably patented design and all that, so I can't recreate it exactly without uh, worrying about my legal safety and all that so well, or I have already, I recorded the design two days ago, so what I did is I took inspiration from the cleaver that he sent a picture of to me, and then just threw my own dimensions and all that onto it. My own dimensions, a few of my own creative twists, no pun intended either, because it's Twist Damascus it's going to be made out of. So, that's been ordered. I'm, uh, I've am i already designed it, but I'll cut to the design here in a second. Um, but there's a couple reasons, though, why I'm not starting on it right now, why this video isn't starting with me in the shop, sitting in a stool at the anvil or one of the tables. There's a... Uh, three reasons why I've not started already. No. Three, three or four. Yeah, three reasons. Reason number one, uh, to make a billet like that, 140, 130 layer billet, you need to be able to weld with a MIG welder or something like that. I've never MIG welded in my life. <laughs> All Damascus I've done in the past has been sand my like a this little bit right here, this is just stacked up on top of each other and beaten on until it welded. At welding temperatures, of course. Anyways, so I, we have a good MIG welder, our old one, kind of uh, somebody on the crew. Don't know who, but somebody on the crew uh, made it weld its own tip shut so it won't work anymore. We have a new one, though. New to us. It's not been used by us before, but it's quite a bit better than our old one. So we have that. I've never used it before, though, and I've got a good practice with that before I go ruining uh, $70 of steel. Reason number two, uh, there's a boat currently parked in my uh, workspace. We bought a ski boat and that's currently in my workspace being overhauled. And reason number three, I don't, I don't even have the steel. I need to order that and it'll be a bit of a wait. Gotta order some uh, 1095 and 15 and 20 to actually make the stuff. So uh, yeah, I think that does for the, uh, the step in the intro. So. Uh, Cue the intro with our logo and Icarus holding the thing, and it'll cut to me designing it, and then it's a, and it's a wait.
Uh, hello. Hello. I'll sleep you be. Hi everyone. <laughs> We're going to be taking care of our neighbor's cattle and the sky is being loud. And then Donald the Hawk is yelling over there somewhere. There's a red hawk, that, there's a red shouldered hawk that lives around here. We named him Donald a long time ago. Yeah. My neighbor's dog escaped from the yard. So I've got to go oh, put him in there so I can sleep in places until the storm passes. Because they're scared of storms. Oh, there's lightning. Bright, bright lightning outside. Ah! Oh, it's getting loud out there, guys. We found a part of our neighbor's yard. We plugged the ditch up again to fill it up with rainwater so that it would, uh, we could pump that into the pond to fill it back up. It rained a bit harder than we expected, though, so his. About a quarter of his front yard now is currently under like a foot and a half, two feet of water. All that rainwater is flowing out of the ditch, so the pump's going, but we flooded our neighbor's yard. It's raining again. Uh, that's where it's at. 
she's got my spot. Okay, so the steel isn't here yet, but there's good reason for that, pretty much. Uh, some friends of ours have companies that do a lot of work with steel and whatnot, so we asked them to see if they could uh, find the steel we need at their, with their suppliers. And, uh, it's been a few days now, and they've finally gotten back to us. And uh, it's next to impossible to find the kind of steel we need from their suppliers. So instead, uh, we've gone ahead and switched over and ordered uh, the steel we need from New Jersey Steel Baron. They'll be in before too terribly long now, and uh, we can get to work then. I got a good one over there. Once we get back. This golf cart has no headlights, so I'm using my phone as the headlight. Need to see if my family wants a ride back to the house from the park after the fireworks. Evening. There they are. I got bored so I forged a knife. Not my best work, but it managed to fill my day up. So, yeah. Soon the steel will be here. And at long last, the steel has arrived. It is right here. It's a bit too heavy to go and hand it. There we go. We have our 5920. We've got our 1095. And the big piece in the back, this one right here. This is 1520. 1095 is under it. And this one right here. Is 1075. That's for something else. So we finally got the steel. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be starving up on the uh, on the billet right now for a couple reasons. Reason number one, I'm still not averse with welding. I don't know how to weld. Reason number two, it's getting a bit too late for me to comfortably uh, actually start working. It's about 5:40 right now, so it's hot and it's late. Reason number three, we're going out of town tomorrow. We're going to our lake house again. And reason number four, um, another project has turned up that, in my opinion, takes precedence over 
the uh, cleaver because the cleaver something is simply something that I'm being paid to make. But um, this other project, which takes precedence, which also involves this uh, the 1075, this project, in my opinion, is even more important than the uh, than the cleaver and me making money. So you'll see what that is in the uh, next video. And I'm really sorry that this video didn't even have any work in it. It just sort of turned into a vlog. But if you stuck through to the end, if you even watched, if anyone, if anybody watches the video, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know when we'll pick this cleaver back up. I'll, I know when we will. It'll be after this uh, project is done. So um, yeah, until uh, until the next video.